What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I wanna talk about the recent divergence in silver spot price and the actual price of physical silver bullion that we've seen over the last couple days. Super insane, so we're gonna cover that, and also we're gonna talk about how this event is similar to what happened during the Great Recession of 2008 and what we can expect to see here in the near future. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you would like to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you would just like to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, I usually don't say this, but I would really appreciate you sharing this video as well because there's a lot of really important information that we're going to talk about in regards to precious metals. And so I think we need to get some of this word out there because there's a lot of misinformation information okay there's a lot of people that are actually seeing the spot price of silver go down and they're starting to panic sheriff this is no time to panic this is the perfect time to panic okay so we actually have recently seen the spot price of silver go from over 18 dollars an ounce to uh, it actually dipped below 12 dollars an ounce at one point now i'm filming this video on uh, tuesday night and I'm gonna post this on Wednesday morning. So we've seen so much volatility in the price of silver recently. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. It could crash another couple bucks. It could hold pretty steady. Uh, it could go up a little bit. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Cause the last time I made a video, spot price went down like $2 uh, right before I posted it. So uh, yeah, so I do wanna talk about how in 2008 we saw the spot price crash over 50 percent and we haven't quite seen that yet um, that was during the great recession and then we saw the spot price of silver go up quite dramatically in the uh, years following that so we're going to talk about that but first i want to talk about the divergence in silver spot price and the actual price of this stuff right here, the physical silver bullion that we love to stack, we love to collect. Um, in this video, I decided to grab some of my Mexican silver. So these are the uh, older style Libertads. And then I do have one of the new ones, the five ounce, absolutely gorgeous pieces of silver here. So uh, anyway, we are showing off those during the video. But uh, I think the best way for me to actually show you this is to uh, let's go over to the computer and I'll show you some of the stuff you can buy right now online. Okay, so here we are over at Atmex, the largest bullion dealer in America. And I'm gonna be using American Silver Eagles uh, for this example here because they're sold by pretty much every bullion dealer. And uh, some of the bigger ones still do have them in stock, although a lot of the smaller dealers are actually sold out of American Silver Eagles. Uh, the mint is supposedly sold out of them right now. But uh, anyway, so look at this price here. If you buy 1500 or more, you're looking at $23 per eagle, uh, which what a divergence from the actual spot price because spot price right now as I'm filming is $13, so a $10 premium. And uh, that's if you buy a ton. If you just buy a few eagles, you're looking at a $12 premium here on Atmex absolutely insane now i do want to show you a trick on how to figure out how many they actually have left in stock now this won't work on all the websites but it does work on atmex you just put in a super large number like you want to add it to your cart it's going to error out and then it will tell you here current quantities available they have 2500 left so they only have five more monster boxes left of eagles apparently and then atmex will be sold out so there you go now, if you're the only one with something in stock, then you can charge whatever you want. It's sort of supply and demand. You can raise the premium to astronomical levels, and it doesn't matter what happens to spot price. It could go to $1 an ounce, and you, if people are buying it, you can charge what you want. So uh, here we are over at JM Bullion. Now, I did want to make an edit on my last video. I said you couldn't do um, free shipping on orders under $2.99, but actually you can't place any orders under $2.99 right now on JM Bullion. Uh, but looking at their eagles here, um, they've got... Uh, basically no bullion eagles for sale so jam bullion is effectively sold out 
They're the second largest bullion dealer in America. Um, also, Provident Metals is owned by them. So there you go. Now, over here on SD Bullion, the third largest in America, uh, looks like they have some, but we're going to scroll down and just see. Looks like most of their eagles are sold out. Okay, so I guess the only ones they have are the 2020, and these are on pre-sale. But, uh, you know, we'll check them out anyway. And I do want to mention that usually it's better to buy just random year because they're cheaper. But if all they have is 2020, then all they have is 2020. <laughs> but uh, uh, looking here on SD Bullion's website, we see a pretty large price here. Uh, looks like 2391 is what you're looking at for uh, you have to buy 1500 or more. Uh, so right there, that's almost an $11 premium. Now, $11 is crazy. Uh, I'm used to paying about a $3 premium. So we're going to talk about why the premiums have gone up so much. Uh, and if you buy just a few, it looks like about a $12 premium. So similar to Atmex. But look at this. You're not going to get your order shipped till after April 24th. Super crazy. So uh, that was just a look at some of the online bullion dealers. Uh, but let's talk about this a little bit more. Okay, so how crazy is that? But uh, before you decide to throw in the towel on physical silver, this exact thing has actually happened before in 2008, and uh, we're going to get to some charts in a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to bring up the whole supply and demand thing here. So if you are the only one with a product that people want, then you can charge whatever you want for it. Um, so the U.S. Mint has said, look, we're completely out of American Silver Eagles. Now, the only people that can buy bullion eagles from the United States Mint is bullion dealers, right? So bullion dealers, they buy their eagles in super large quantities and then they sell them to us. Now, if those dealers can't buy any more eagles, then they're completely out uh, or they maybe have them and just don't want to sell them, which I did talk about that in my last video quite a bit. Uh, but regardless... If there is a company out there, like apparently Atmex and SD Bullion still have eagles or at least have uh, promised to get more eagles in the future because of the delayed shipping and all that, then they can charge whatever premiums they want. And if you don't want to pay those premiums, that's fine. Don't pay them. Now, I don't recommend you go out and spend $25 for an American Silver Eagle. Uh, when I was stacking eagles just a few weeks ago, I was getting them for around 20 bucks. So... It's crazy. We've seen the spot price of silver go down dramatically, but in reality, we've seen the price of American Silver Eagles go up as a result. So this is actually making a lot of people upset because I've heard people say, I want silver to go down to $12 an ounce so I can back up the truck and buy as much physical silver as possible and then it's going to go to the moon. And uh, they didn't realize that when it went down this much, the price was actually going to go up for the silver. So it's just the spot price that has come down. Remember, the spot price is determined by the market, right? So paper silver has gone down and the market has gone down. However, physical silver, there's a limited amount. And so the price it doesn't have to go along with the spot price. It has actually gone up. So people are saying, ah, oh, the system has failed me. You have failed me for the last time. But like I said before, this has happened. So let's go over to the computer, look at some charts of what happened in the past, and then we'll see what might be in our very near future. Okay, so here we are back at the Silver Doctors website, and uh, I want to show you what's happened this year before we go back in time, so we have something to compare it to. So earlier this year, we saw $14 silver. That was great. I was picking up eagles for about $17 bucks a piece, uh, and then we ran up to $19 range, and then it sort of went flat. And uh, in February, we saw 1861 silver right there, and then you all know what's happened over the last few days wham it has fallen off a cliff so 1277 is the spot price there uh, but actually intraday it went below 12 dollars for an ounce 
So you might think that's crazy, but this has happened before. So uh, here we are at JM Bullion's 20-year chart. And uh, back here in the early 2000s, we saw silver in the $4 range. So that would have been a great time to be stacking. And then we saw the uh, spot price steadily increase here. And uh, there was no bubbles in our economy. Uh, you know, we were doing great, right? Uh, we saw silver go all the way up to $20 here on March 3rd. And then, of course, the Great Recession happened. And just like it recently uh, dropped the spot price, we see in 2008, wham, falls off a cliff, right? And silver's down to uh, $9.41 an ounce here. So over a 50% decline in the spot price of silver. Now, when this happened, the premiums on physical silver went up just like they did now. So Mike Maloney actually on one of his videos, I think yesterday, talked about how he saw Eagles going for $36 an ounce on eBay uh, when the spot price went down to 9 so that's that's a it's an interesting thing when that happens right the physical bullion demand is there but there's not enough quantity so supply and demand we see the price go up but anyway uh after the crash we saw people uh bring their money back into silver and gold right they're the safe haven assets so there's this flight to safety and in 2011 we saw this crazy run up on the price and silver went up to hold on to your butt 47 bucks there on the chart so i think it actually hit 48 on one of the days but uh yeah we might see that happen again in the future that's very possible we could see a run-up similar to that now this might take a few months it might take a few years uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, let's get back to the video. All right, so there you have it. A little history lesson for those that are sort of worried right now with the spot price going down so much. They're thinking, you know, hey, silver is supposed to go up in price when there's panic, when there's crisis, uh, when people are really scared with everything that's going on in the world. You So that being said, what should we do right now? Should we go out and try and buy a bunch of silver thinking that, yeah, the everything's going to recover and the price is going to go up? I would hold off on that. I definitely wouldn't go out and start looking for American Silver Eagles. In fact, I would say if you could find other types of silver that you can pick up relatively close to the spot price uh, right now, then you should do that. So if you could find maybe generic silver rounds or junk silver, um, also 40% silver, like the Kennedy halves from 1965 to 1970. Those are a good option. Um, if you can find silver that is from other countries' mints, like this one right here, the Libertad from Mexico, if you can find these uh, near the spot price of silver today, then I think that's a great option to buy. Um, I think that you're going to have to look at your local coin shops. You're going to have to either call ahead and see if they're even open or go down there and talk to them uh, and just see if they have anything you can buy or maybe their shelves are completely empty right now. Maybe they're sold out or maybe they're not open for business. Um, so when you're looking online, be really diligent. Uh, don't pay these high $12, $13 premiums just don't do it. It's not a good price. And I think another reason they're jacking up the price is they've seen people who don't know anything about precious metals uh, wander into this space. They say, hey, everything's um, going downhill right now. Uh, I think last time that happened, the price of uh, silver went up after, so let me go see if I can buy some silver. And so we're seeing maybe new investors enter the market right now, and they don't understand that just a few weeks ago, you could have gotten uh, American Silver Eagles for 20 bucks. And so they say, hey, $25 is actually, you know, that doesn't sound too bad. Didn't silver go up to 50 bucks? Let me back up the truck on those. So don't pay those high premiums, but also... Uh, I would say don't sell your silver now either. Hold on to your silver. Uh, you might have to hold on to it for a little bit, but let's wait and see what happens here. Uh, and another thing I didn't mention before is that we've seen this gold to silver ratio reach historic highs. Uh, today, it went up to over 120 ounces of silver. 
to one ounce of gold. So that's the highest it's ever been in the history of humankind. So uh, when we see these historic highs in the gold to silver ratio, that just means that silver is extremely undervalued uh, compared to gold. I think that is the case, but that's referring to the spot price, of course. When it comes to physical bullion, that's not really the case. I mean, the true gold to silver ratio, if we look from a physical bullion standpoint, is actually not 120. Um, that's just the paper silver and paper gold view. So if you can get silver for 12 bucks an ounce or 13 bucks an ounce right now, then you're doing awesome. But you gotta be really diligent when you're looking for those deals. So I think right now, all you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. I could not have said it better myself. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will have a lot of great videos coming out in the near future uh, talking about the events going around in the world of precious metals. You're not going to want to miss those. Uh, don't forget to share this video on social media because there's a lot of key points I brought up in the divergence in the spot price of silver and the actual price of physical silver bullion. And people just don't really understand that. And they also don't understand how this has happened in the past. So this is history repeating itself. This was predicted to happen by a lot of professionals. Uh, but anyway, I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.